Here we go, it's tic-tac-toe time. So, here's the build. Maybe one of the first tic-tac-toe in the Creativers game, because the last upgrade is pretty recent, and I built this one two days ago. So I think uh, maybe one of the first to, to try to make uh, a game like this uh, in this game. And uh, for this video, so uh, I'll speak in English, or I'll try at least, because uh, I want to show this build uh, to the world. So let's go to the point right now. Let's say we play this, uh, this move. So now we are playing with the circle player, which is blue and it passed to the red player, the cross. Let's say the cross player play in the middle. So we play here. The blue player will play no, not here. Here will be a smarter, a smarter move. So the red player try to uh, avoid uh, to lose. The blue player too. And now the red player have to play here, but let's say he tried to uh, to cheat and play where the blue player plays, play uh, the previous move. He can't, nothing happen because uh, I put uh, something to prevent this event. So red player have to play here. Let's say now that blue player make a mistake. Let's say he play here. So the red player can win by playing here. And so he win. We can see the winning move is blinking. And na right now the party is finished. So we can play here. If the blue player tried to play here, nothing happened. We have to reset the game. For that, the code is 11. 11 reset the game and now we can play another game like uh, like we want so now i show i show you behind the scene what happened behind so i take the wiring tool first we can see this panel is uh, connected to uh, the the behind of the scene so for each uh, of the nine case uh, let's take a jump and see how it is behind. Lots and lots of logic gates. When we get inside, we can hear the noise, the noise of them working. There is a lot, there is a lot of noise. So, uh, a, fun, uh, a funny thing to do, it's Show all connection. This is it. Uh, I think the quality of the video dropped because there is a very lot of connection. When we go inside, it's even more uh, incredible. So for not be lost in it, I have to do some uh, technique like uh, naming my uh, input and output. I show you how it works with uh, without saying too much because it will be really hard to explain exactly how it works. So here we are, uh, pr a first set of logic gates, which is the same for each case. It's the same uh, system copied nine times. Here we receive the entry. So here, it's when we put 9, it uh, say this uh, output. So to explain how I name them, the T31 is for tic-tac-toe 1, because for each system I use, I use uh, a name which corresponds to this system. So I can be lost with my entry and uh, with my input and output. And so the output is, is P09 which is a play on 9, play on 9. And so this play on 9 
is uh, sent to another logic gate, which... Uh, uh, how do I say this word? Which, which check if the case is already uh, filled, if it's the case, nothing happened, but if it's uh, empty, the signal is sent to another logic gate, which tests the player term, which is red or blue, and so he, co he send an input to this RS knowledge, which maintains the state of the case. And so this is the main circuit. Upside, it's the circuit which allows the light to blink when a victory is detected. It solves the circuit and it takes a lot of place because uh, there is a lot of possibility of victory. Here we are, here we have the victory detector. So I have to put two logic gates by victory, possible. So there is uh, eight possible victory in a tic-tac-toe game. So I have to build eight by uh, player, so 16. And here we are uh, lots of OR gates connected to each other to connect all to this uh, OR gate, which is the victory detection. So when this one is true, a victory is detected. And that's this one who blocks the game when the victory is detected. Other part of the system, here is the reset port. So when we input 11, we uh, send the action RA, which is reset all. So it reset all the errors knowledge. And here we have the player change with the flip flop, which send to, the, to a delay to avoid bug, bugs, and to an inverser to uh, have the, the output for the other player when it's red player, when it's blue player. And on the side we have the turn player uh, indicator. So this is pretty much uh, what it is. This is my first attempt, uh, attempt to make uh, a tic-tac-toe like this. There uh, will be other. So uh, I'd like to see how I will improve by building these things. I already have uh, some idea to make uh, it uh, use less uh, logic gates. So I hope uh, in some months uh, I'll be able to build uh, some uh, really really cool tic-tac-toe and even better system. So thanks for watching this video. Goodbye!